Okay, girls, I've decided who I'm going to prom with. Rose, Dylan, Max? Yes. Which one? All of them. What? What? I'm confused. Well, I couldn't decide, so I said yes to all of them. Um, Casey, this is not a good idea. Wait, so all four of you are gonna go together? <laughs> No, they don't know why I said yes to the others. What a stupid idea. Your math is not mathing. How on earth are you going to pull this off? You guys are going to help me. Ooh, this sounds fun. No, I'm not. Um, I don't remember agreeing to that. I volunteered you. When? Just now. Okay. But what about our prom dates? Taylor, someone finally asked you? No. Then what's the problem? Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Well, I don't have anyone to go with, so I'll help you, Casey. That's the attitude that I like to see. I'm just happy to be here. Why can't you guys be as obedient as JJ? I'm not a dog. You are her bitch. I guess I am a dog. Well, I'll help, but I'm going with Brody, so... Oh, good. He can help, too. Okay, he'll be so delighted to hear that. I'm so excited. Okay, come close. This is the blueprint of the space. How did you get this, Principal Aspen? She's so cool. I know. Anyway, since I said yes to Rose, Dylan, and Max, they all have to think that I'm only there with them. Fortunately for me, they're all in different cliques, so they will all be sitting at different tables. So I'm going to spend a few minutes with each, and then make an excuse, and then go to the next, etc. Um, can you go back and laugh? This is not going to work. You guys are going to help me distract the ones I'm not with, so they don't go looking for me. I'm on. Okay, screw me then, whatever. Okay, now for the fun part. We're each going to have a little earpiece, so we can alert each other if one of them is about to cross paths. I literally couldn't think of anything less fun. We're going undercover? This is way too much for my brain to handle. Or if someone's getting a little too suspicious. That's so cool. Is this what the popular kids always do? Capiche? Sounds complicated. When do we get to have fun? This is fun. Right. JJ, this is your official initiation into our group. This will be matter too. If you can help me pull this off, you're in. Casey, you never care about us. JJ? This is your official initiation into our group. If you can help me pull this off, you're in. Do I get a team jacket? No, we're not a dance team. Okay. We really should consider getting much, though. Do you guys want me? JJ, you should never be this excited to be anyone's friend. It's pathetic. Right. Got it. I think it's kind of cute. Well, if you're so in love with JJ, why don't you go to prom with her? Whoa. Attitude. I'm sorry, JJ. You're cute, but I'm not gay. Understandable. You're not my type anyway. <sighs> I'm like everyone's type. What is your type? Oh, Gary. <coughs> What's it to you? God, sorry for trying to seem interested in your life. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we all understand the plan. Yes. Sure. Yes. I'll see you girls tomorrow night then. Leave now. Right now? Uh, I just have to call my mom to come pick me up. It'll probably be like 15 minutes. Okay, go wait outside. I can't wait in here with you. No. Okay. Well, will one of you drive me? I would, but my license got suspended. And I genuinely just don't want to. Okay. JJ, what did you do to your hair? Sorry, I tried to do it like you did, but this is the best I could do. I've literally been working on it for hours. No, 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 no. no. Taylor, do you have a brush? You really just expect me to have everything you need on hand? Yes, I have a brush. Okay, this needs to be quick. Good. Wow, you weren't kidding. I have a magic touch in more ways than one. Huh. Okay, here's your earpiece. This is the coolest thing I've ever done. Your life must be pretty boring. Not really. And this is a walkie that you can talk through. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, and you're also standing right in front of me. Nice. Where the hell is Zoe? Where the hell is Zoe? Hello? Zoe, what the f*** are you doing? Like, right at this moment? Yeah. Um... Brody? I need you here like, like 10 minutes ago. Oh, okay. Wait, where? Prom. Oh, is that right now? Brody, I think we're supposed to be at prom. I'm gonna kill it. Okay, be there in a minute. Well, maybe less honestly. <sighs> hey guys. That was quick. Yeah, so is Brody. Where is Brody? Oh, he's still getting dressed. He'll be here soon. How did you get dressed so quick? Um, I never took this off. Oh.
I don't want to know anymore. Are you joking? Where is Birdie? Oh, he's still getting dressed. He'll be here soon. How did you get dressed so quick? Um, I never took this off. Oh, I don't want to know anymore. Are you joking? You steal my boyfriend and now my dress too? Um, this is my dress. It's the same fucking one I'm wearing, dipshit. Cute, twinsies. No, not cute. We can't be wearing the same dress. Why not? I don't care about your minor inconveniences. Do we all remember the plan? Yes, I studied it all night. Yes, you only told me 47 times. Yes, wait, no, what's that? Zoe, you are literally the most useless human being. Yeah, but it's not my fault. I got it. Casey has three prom dates, but none of them know about each other. So our job is to make sure that they don't find out. Okay, but at least someone listens. I'm listening, I just don't really care. Raise your earpiece. Cute. Just lit, bro. I know, all the older hot girls are wearing short dresses. I mean, the atmosphere, but yeah. Dude, how are we even here? We're freshmen. Principal asked me, he's like, oh, regular customer of mine. Bro, that's dope. Thanks for taking me as your date. Why did you air quotes around date, bro? Because we're not actually on a date. Oh, wait, dude, did you think we were like going to prom together? No, bro, of course not. All right, good, bro, because that would have been hella awkward. Yeah. Mike, this is a formal event. No hats allowed. I can't take this off, bro. Take it off. No, man, please. No one has ever seen you without it my hat, against bro. bro. Take it off or I will have you escort. Why do you always get to stick up your ass, man? No, man, please. No one has ever seen you without it my hat, against bro. bro. Take it off or I will have you escort. Why do you always get to stick up your ass, man? Dude, what, bro? Your hair is gorgeous. Really? Yeah, bro. If you were a girl, I would, like, totally be into you. Bro. Carlos. JJ, you clean up nicely. You, you look beautiful. I know. So, are you um, are you still a lesbian? Last time I checked, yes. Well, how recently have you checked? What do you mean, Oh. Come on, bud. You deserve to spend time with someone who appreciates your company. Yeah. Okay, have fun. Oh, Hello, love. You look beautiful. You look amazing. I'm so happy you made it. Yeah, well, typically when someone asks you to be their date for prom, you two are supposed to go together. I understand. So, I was rather surprised when you said you wanted to meet me here. I'm so sorry. My friend was having a crisis. I just... I really needed to be there for her. What? None of us were having a crisis. She's so She couldn't arrive with anyone, otherwise her cover would be blown. Oh. Where, where does this go? Keep up. I don't think that's right. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's completely understandable. You're such a good friend for doing that. Good friend? <laughs> that's laughable. Will you join me at my seat? Of course. Hello? Is this why <laughs> I'm walking with Rose for a seat? Any time, Rose? No. Clear. Over. Hello? This is so fun. I feel so useful. Sorry, love, did you say something? Oh, no, that wasn't me. Hello? Casey, can you hear me? My apologies. Sometimes I hear voices. I think they may be my spiritual guides, but... I don't think this, like, matches my dress. I can never make out what they're saying. <laughs> I think mine's clogged. Casey, my love, I have a very important question. Okay. Sure. Um, what is your astrological sign? Um, I'm a Gemini. <gasps> oh, God! Okay, um, May or June? June. Okay. Casey, that's a red flag. Over. Carlos? Here, unfortunately. Mike? Yo. JJ? 
JJ. Absent. Thank God. Hi. Sorry I'm late. Uh. Oh, I um, I didn't realize we were getting a new student today. New no student. Are Are you talking to me? Yes. What is your name? Uh, J J Jane. Well, Jane, welcome to the class. Yep, that's me, Jane. You can uh, have JJ's seat for now. She's not here today, and hopefully never again. Okay. What? Why is everyone staring at me? J JJ? She thinks I'm Jane. Maybe I won't get yelled at today if she doesn't think I'm me. Hey, Carlos. Hi. Are you okay? Yeah, I love having my heart shattered into a million pieces. Sorry, I can't help that I'm gay. That's what they all say. What? Um, you look different. Yeah, I know. I look so ugly. I didn't have time to braid my hair this morning. No, like, you look really hot. Hi, did you forget about me? Your girlfriend? Oh my god, I did. I, I'm so sorry. Sometimes I just, like, forget that I'm in a relationship. What? It just, like, slips my mind sometimes. Like, like when? Um, oh, like, like yesterday when I was at Brody's house. I'm sorry, what? What? Did, did you hook up? Yeah, but I just told you that I forgot I was in a relationship. God, Nova. Nova, sit down. No. What happened? What was that for? Principal's office. Now. Gladly. She is so dramatic. What happened? What was that for? Principal's office. Now. Gladly. She is so dramatic. Girl, those badass. Well, Mrs. Aspen, at least you have another seat available again just in case JJ comes back. Shit. Well, hopefully she doesn't. You really don't like her, huh? No. She is the worst, most annoying, unteachable student that I have ever met. I am so grateful that you have joined our class, Jane. You seem like a delight. Yeah. Something tells me that JJ won't be coming back. Oh, wow, not even I'm that dumb. What? I was just saying that I'm dumb. It's good to be self-aware. All right, I have to use the restroom. Study silently until I get back. Restroom is code for being in the janitor. That means we have like 45 seconds before she comes back. So, and JJ, I think I'm like single now, so. Oh, really? Did, did Nova wake up with you? Well, I like just realized that I accidentally like cheated on her. So honestly, if she doesn't, that's like a big red flag. What? So, and JJ, I think I'm like single now, so. Oh, really? Did, did Nova wake up with you? Well, I like just realized that I accidentally like cheated on her. So honestly, if she doesn't, that's like a big red flag. What? Carlos. Carlos. What? Little question. It's like no big deal. What? Um, so like, would you like let me borrow JJ for like a night? Like, like a little swing situation? First of all. You have nobody to swing my way. Right. Secondly, JJ dumped me. What? Yeah, we kissed and then she realized she's a lesbian. Oh my god, that is like the best news I've ever heard. Well, not for you. That sucks. Yeah. You're kind of looking rough. Do you like need a friend to talk to? Yeah, I kind of do actually. That would be really nice. Okay, you should probably call one of them then. Hey man. What's up, dude? Um, I'm like failing this class and I was I was wondering if you could like maybe like tutor me or something. I'm I'm failing this class too. Oh I mean that that's that's fine. We could like maybe like figure it out together. What? I don't know, dude. I just like heard what happened between like you and JJ that she like dumped you and I I thought like maybe you could use some like comfort or like cuddles. Uh do you have, like, a, a sister? No. Like, I'm not gay. Bro, I wasn't asking. I'm not gay either, bro. I was just, like, trying to be a good friend. Dude, we, like, barely know each other. I'm so sorry for, like, trying to make new friends, bro. 
Okay, well, I thought you were, like, trying to offer me, like, a rebound situation. Um, but if not, I, I, I don't, I don't want to cuddle you. Is it, like, because I'm a dude? Yeah. I could, like, I could, like, put on a dress, bro, if you're into that or something. I'll, I'll let you know on that one. All right, but. Brody is literally so hot. Oh, I think you just gave me a concussion. What is going on over here? We were just fighting about who we saw coming out of the janitor's closet this morning with Mr. Higginbottom. Zoe thinks it was Mrs. Mabubi, but I could have sworn it was you. I didn't see anything. Good, neither did I. My head really hurts. <gasps> Bitch, what the fuck? I have a deviated septum and you're deviating it more. Brody's my ex-boyfriend, you skank. Oh my God, can you guys stop? You've had like 26 ex-boyfriends. If you don't want one of them, why can't I have one? You're both idiots. Yeah, probably because Taylor just gave me a concussion. No, I don't think that's why. Sorry, we can't all be gay, Casey. It's really not that much better. Unless you're me, because I get anyone I want. Ow. Oh man, I forgot my locker coat again. She's gonna be so mad at me. Is that girl new? What do you want, JJ? I'm at work. Mom, did you wipe my locker coat down anywhere? I forgot it again. Hmm. I've never seen her before, but she's prettier than you, Zoe. Might have to replace you as my best friend, especially with that crooked nose. <laughs> No, I didn't, JJ. It's not my responsibility to keep track of your locker code. You need to learn to be independent and start to take care of yourself because I'm not going to be able to do it forever. Is this about Brody? Because I won't talk to him again. Again? <gasps> I deserve that one. You need to go to the front desk and tell them that you forgot okay, your locker combination like a big that. girl. I know it's not about him. I just have a reputation to uphold. I can only be friends with nines. No eights or tens because... I have to be the prettiest, but I also can't be seen with ugly people. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Wait. I am at work trying to put a roof over our head, and I don't need calls from my daughter who doesn't know how to do anything for herself. Whatever. Casey, do you know her? Hang on. <sighs> what are you doing? I'm writing the answers to my science test on my hand. <sighs> You're so smart, Casey. Can't you? So fucking annoying. Shit. I ran out of room. Give me your hand. I'm gonna be fucking late for class again. Bitch, I have a blood condition. The ink is going to like seep into my blood and make my condition worse. This will be fine. Do you know that girl or what? Who? <sighs> There's no way. What? That's JJ freaking Johnson. The geeky horse girl? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be late for class. You're high. Yeah, but I can still see. You guys got high without me? No, you were with us. Maybe I do have a concussion. No, you're just stupid. JJ. Come here. Me? Yes, you, dingbat. See, told you. Wow. Uh, hey, Casey. What's up? And by what's up, I mean, why are you talking to me? Wow, she's rude, too. I like her. You look different in a good way. We like your new look. Oh, um, I just didn't have time to wave my hair this morning. Well, you don't look ugly anymore. What Zoe is trying to say is that you shouldn't braid your hair anymore. It makes you look like a dork. Really? It, it, it's kind of like who I am, though. Oh, honey, nobody likes who you are. My mom does. And, and my dad does sometimes. Don't wear the braids again, okay? Okay. You're sitting with us at lunch today, so cancel your other plans. Okay. Well, I mean, I didn't really have other plans. I usually just eat alone in the bathroom. Do not ever repeat that. See you at lunch. Okay. Bye. Wow. They're so cool. Oh, there she is. JJ! Hey guys! Sit. Okay. It's so nice to have people to sit with for lunch. What is that? My lunch? Ew. JJ, it's okay to be poor, but we just don't want to flaunt it. My dad packed me that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, first rule of being popular, we don't bring lunch from home. We buy it. Okay, I can do that. I just I just don't have any money on me. Here, you can borrow my dad's credit card. I I don't think I can. <laughs> yes, you can. He won't notice the charges. Trust me. He really won't. 
No, I mean, I don't, I don't think the lunch ladies accept credit. Ew, no, I didn't mean to buy lunch here. We get DoorDash delivered. Here, order whatever you want. You're allowed to get food delivered here? Yeah, of course. Principal Asman is like totally our girl. She lets us do whatever we want. Plus, she really likes DoorDash. Oh, there she is. Hey, Jesse. Jesse? You're on a first name basis with the principal? Yeah. Hey, girls. Hey, Jesse. JJ? What are you doing with popular girls? You're not popular. Um, we love JJ. She's one of us now. Eh. I am? Wait, you already know JJ? Well, yeah, I still am the principal. I have to know all my students. Really? Who's that? Um, that's... Ma Mary... I think I have a sinus infection again. Ma mm. Mark. That's Gerald. I've like never seen that boy in my life. Yeah, I have no clue, to be honest. I don't actually do my job. I only remember JJ because I used to sleep with her dad. <gasps> Stop. What? SEQ? Eh, not really, but... Not too bad in bed. Ew, la la la, I can't hear you. La 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 la. No, 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 I don't want to hear about my dad in bed. That's really disgusting. Ew, la, I don't want to hear this either. I'm gay. La 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 la. No, no, I don't want to know this. La 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 la. I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something right now. I'm traumatized. Oh, shit. I'm late for a meeting with the superintendent. I'm gonna get fired. Just give him some, please don't fire me, Hess. <laughs> that always works for me. Girl, how do you think I got this job? All right, I'll see you guys later. Is that what I'm gonna have to do to get a job? <laughs> I like her, she's funny. <laughs> so, JJ, what's your body count? I've never hurt anyone. <laughs> I never, I would never. <laughs> I like her, she's funny. <laughs> I wasn't joking. So you meant how many people have you slept with? Oh, well, that's a weird question. Uh, I have to think. Damn, she has to count? You're better than I thought. Okay, so my friend Cassie once. Nice, that's pretty gay. Um, Emma, one time. My aunt Linda. Oh, my cousin Jenny. What? Mm, my oldest sister Mia. What is wrong with you? My mom. You're disgusting. What? What? You... you you asked me how many people I've slept next to before. You thought we, you thought we meant how many people you physically slept next to. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were serious for a second. JJ, you're a fucking riot, dude. I didn't know you were such a prankster. <laughs> what the fuck did they mean? Just smile and nod. Okay, girls, the final touch. Hi, JJ. Where's your Urban Cowboy perfume? What? Uh, I don't have one. All the cool kids have Urban Cowboy perfume. Yeah, because it smells good and it's vegan. Think of the horses, JJ. What do you use for perfume? Sometimes I love the inside of a lemon on me. It kind of stings. Well, you can't sit with us until you smell like blossoms, okay? Wait, but how do I get one? We bought it on the TikTok shop. How do you buy something on the TikTok shop? Figure it out. Call us when you get one. <laughs> that was weird. What? <laughs> what the heck is going on? What the fuck? Okay. All right, class. Maybe I was just hallucinating. Please take out your urban cowboy perfume. What? JJ, I said take out your urban cowboy perfume. What the heck is going on? <laughs> what the Mom, Dad, something really weird is going on. Who can't have urban cowboy perfume? Now my friends will let me sit with them again because I smell good. If you want to get one just like me, you can get one by clicking this button right here. Try it. Click it. See what happens.
I'm like so not in the mood to be here today. Well, maybe since it's Friday, it'll be an easier day. Okay, class, please open up to a blank sheet of paper. Today, we are going to be learning the midpoint theorem. I spoke too soon. The midpoint theorem states that the line segment drawn from the midpoint of any side to the midpoint of any other side of a triangle is parallel to the third side and is half the length of the what? third side I don't of the triangle. If you connect the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, then the resulting line segment will be parallel to the third side and have half um, its length. This is Asman. I'm really confused. Me too. Me for. Oh, guys, I get it. AJ, you know the rules. If you text in class, you have to share with everyone. Okay, fine. I asked the AI chat on app if it could explain the midpoint theorem to me like I'm five. And it told me, the midpoint theorem says that when you draw a line between two points, the middle of that line is exactly halfway between the two points. It's like cutting a sandwich in half. You get two equal pieces. Oh. Oh. Um, Mrs. Asman, why did you, like, make it so complicated? If you think you can do a better job teaching my class, then go right ahead. Okay, sure. Okay, is anyone confused about anything else? Oh, oh, can you ask it to explain the Pythagorean theorem? We learned that weeks ago. Yeah, but I like still don't understand because you made it so confusing. It's like a fancy math formula for figuring out how long a diagonal line is on a square. There's so much sense. Mrs. Asman, how did you even get hired? Sorry guys, that's all I'm willing to work on paid. But if you have any more questions, you can download the chat on artificial intelligence app and ask it anything you want. What am I? In my school, how did I get here? <laughs> Oh, there's Carlos and Gerald. Hey, guys. Bro, I can't believe she died. Who, who died? <laughs> she was the love of my life. Wait, but I thought I was the love of your life. I'm never going to get over her, bro. <laughs> Wait, who died? JJ. What? Oh, who is JJ? G guys, I'm right here. JJ. Oh, my God. They can't see or hear me. Uh, I'm a ghost. Uh, oh, I still feel that. <laughs> Emma? I knew I should have asked her on a date. You could still ask me, Emma. I'm right here. I will never meet someone as cool as her ever again. Emma, I should have told you that I'm crazy in love with you. I was just so nervous to tell you because you're so much prettier than I am and I thought you were way out of my wig. This sucks. I'll never get to experience what it's like to be with Emma. I've never even had my first kiss yet. We're just here to inform you that our daughter has passed on and will no longer be coming to school. Mom? Dad? Oh, thank God. She was a pain in my ass. Yeah, now we can finally get a divorce. We were only trying to stay together for the sake of JJ. But now that she's gone, we can separate and live happy lives. <laughs> <laughs> It was just a dream? Oh, thank God. Hey, Dad. Hey. <clears throat> Are you okay? <clears throat> Are you sick? Don't get too close to me. Not medically. Just sick of this shit. What? Hey. Oh, look, it's Mia, my favorite daughter. Wait, where are you going? Out. I'll be back later. Are you guys kidding me? Both of my children are ungrateful and don't love me. Not only do I have to accept my only two children being gay, but I also do everything for you two. Not really. Okay, you're right, but I do a lot. What's up with him? I don't know. He's acting weird. I deserve to be appreciated. I just deserve some love and appreciation. Ungrateful children. This is ridiculous. Hey, Bobby. Happy Daddy's Day. At least you love me. Now, wait a minute. Nobody said anything about the L word. Do you think we fooled him? What? Were you not playing along? About what? I was trying to make him think I forgot it was Father's Day. It is. <laughs> hey, Dad. Are you crying? No. Happy Father's Day. What? You didn't forget? <laughs> hey, Dad. Are you crying? No. Happy Father's Day! What? You didn't forget? No, I was just planking. I knew my kids wouldn't forget about my special day. What Mia actually did. Is that present for me? It's a golf shot from Swing Juice. Golf Dad? I love it! This is the best present I've ever got. I got one for me too because I'm gonna go golfing with you today for Father's Day. I have plans today actually, but thank you for the gift. Oh. Oh, wait, is there something else in there? Okay. What's this? Outstanding achievement in fatherhood? Yeah, actually, I was trying to find one that said moderate achievement in fatherhood, but that's the only one the store had. Swingjuice.com is a fun lifestyle apparel brand for golf and more. Great for Father's Day if you are looking for a great gift for your dad. High quality performance polos and quarter zips with designs for someone that likes fashion wear on and off the golf course. They have the best t-shirts, hats, and hoodies too. Go to swingjuice.com.